all my videos are on whim okay uh, they are shot and usually produced and published the same day uh, if not the same day it might be overnight every once in a while I might throw one in there that's a few days old or a week old or something like that but usually they're just aimlessly created and thrown together what's up ladies and gentlemen double a coming at you with another video now my intentions for this video here was not what it's about to be uh, my intentions for this video were to do a uh, was were yeah. english is such a hard language to speak even when you're native to it so um the nature of this video originally was going to be how thin can I get it? I've been doing a lot of drawing out, so I was going to take this stock and see just how far I could draw it out and just how thin I could get it before it decides to either snap or break. And that's with including normalizing it uh, when I think it's had too much stress. So, but things happened. I got off of work late and I was unable to do that. I was going to get some parts for the treadle hammer build and get some other things going. But unfortunately life happened so I want to talk to you a little bit right now about slowing down now there's a lot going on in the world nowadays ladies and gentlemen there's a lot of hatred there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of misunderstanding deception and manipulation and stuff going on and it's hard to find happiness in such a dim world but I promise you it is there it's just in places that you're not noticing because you're not slowing down First and foremost, let me say this, your happiness is nobody's responsibility but your own. And I know that seems kind of harsh, but that's the reality of it. We have to decide whether we're going to be happy with this or happy with that. And we have to decide when we realize we're not happy with something to leave it alone and to get away from it. Because the negativity and the, the bad health bad vibes and everything that comes with it's just not worth you losing your happiness. You see, in any given day, I can walk down to the lake and I can take somebody with me. And they may pass over a little wet spot in the ground about that big around, about as big as a quarter. And they may notice it. Most of the times they won't. But sometimes they'll notice it and just pass it off as just a little bucky spot. But what actually has happened is turtle has crawled up out of the lake and laid eggs in that spot and if you notice that you know to pay attention in a few months you may get to see the birth of young wild turtles climbing up out of the ground and making their way to the lake it is a beautiful beautiful thing to experience and a lot of times we have chances to experience things like that but we're so wrapped up with everything else that we miss so much of the beauty that exists around us. I am one of the world's worst at doing this and you know it's one thing that I don't like about myself. I lose myself on a regular basis and um, sometimes I get so frustrated with me that I, you know I'm just like I'm done with you and at that point in time that's when I slow down and I realize the things that I see. Everybody deserves to be happy. And I think if everybody could find their happiness, if everybody would slow down and find their happiness, there wouldn't be so much hatred in the world. I really don't like this. So there are times when I have to walk away from people, and I've done it. And I don't like it because I feel like I'm giving up on it. But when trying so hard and failing starts becoming like a job to me, it starts affecting my mentality, my sense of self-worth, it's time for me to walk away. Because that war is not worth me losing my happiness for somebody who doesn't want to be happy. Ladies and gentlemen, my door is always, always open to anything. Um, always. Uh, you have con my contact information on my about more description of the, the, uh, the channel and uh, I know I may seem a little whacked out and kooky and stuff like that but listen I'm I'm me and 
I love life. I didn't always. I have learned some of the secrets to happiness. And it's well worth it. Your life is worth it. And I say that in just about every video. Your life is worth it. I can prove it. I can. Because I have learned those secrets. At any point in time, if you ever feel that you don't matter, or if somebody tells you you don't matter, you can say, well, Aimless thinks I matter. Matthew Hobbs thinks I matter. Because I do. I do think you matter. And I think you're deserving of happiness. And if those people don't believe you, tell them to contact me. And they can say, hey, this person, do you know this person? No. Well, they say that you think they matter. And I'll say, because they do. And they're 100% correct. You do matter. I'm going to give off the lovey-dovey stuff. But every now and again, take a moment to slow down and just notice things. Whether it's just the grass blowing in the breeze. If you walk outside and you're like, oh my God, there's crow's feet in the yard. i got to cut the grass. Take a minute. Slow down. Watch the wind blow through it. Look at that grass because those are seeds. That is life happening. That is that grass thriving to live and reproduce. It wants to be here. It wants to continue on. It wants to leave a legacy. That is what life is, you know? Pay attention to that. Just these little small details that we don't notice. Teach us a lot. Now that we're done with the mushy stuff, <laughs> but be watching. We're going to see just how far <coughs> Amos can take this. Uh, I think this is this is half inch round stock. Just see just how far. I'll cut off a section, and I'll see how far down I can forge it and how thin I can get it, and um, push my envelope and see if I have been able to master that section of drawing out um, in the blacksmithing lifestyle skill set. I don't know. I don't think ever anything's ever truly mastered, but um, yeah. With that being said, be well, be safe, and uh, smile today if you haven't smiled. Life is worth living. I can prove that to you. And love, peace, and chicken grease. Oh, and by the way, those black boogers that you get after forging... If you, uh, if you eat those, they make you immune to the bad stuff that's in the air while you're foraging. It's good for you. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it.